Coming up on High School Quiz Show, it's Andover High School taking on British International School of Boston. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Cyber attacks aren't going away. You can talk to an independent agent about cyber coverage from Safety Insurance. It covers data restoration, data recreation, system restoration, and more. Safety Insurance will help you manage life storms, even the cyber kind. Additional funding is provided by the Museum of Science. The Museum of Science. Trekking around the Arctic has never been easier. You can get lost in the mystery and find beauty in Arctic adventure, exploring with technology. On exhibit now, only at the Museum of Science. More at MOS.org. Hi, everybody, and welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm your host, Billy Costa. In last week's match between North Quincy High School and Weston High School, North Quincy defeated Weston to move on to the semifinals. For today's match, the first match of the semifinals, we welcome back Andover High School, and as a result of a forfeit, uh, British International School of Boston. And on the Andover team, we have Narain. Welcome back, Narain. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Well, that's good. And how about you, Liam? I'm feeling great. So far, so good. Mahathi, how are you today? I'm doing good. Thank all you. All right. And Karan, how are you? I'm doing all right. <laughs> all right. The alternates are Ryan and Will with Coach Ellen Habino. And competing for British International, we have Tara. Welcome back, Tara. Congratulations, semifinals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, how you doing up there? I'm doing well. All right. And Sabrina? I'm doing good. Everybody's good. Annabelle, you good? Oh, yes. All right. The alternates are Faisal, Miguel, and Coach William Mitchell. <laughs> The competition has four rounds. Toss-up, head-to-head, category round, and lightning round. Throughout the game, a green light is a correct answer, a red light an incorrect answer, and a gray light means that no answer was given. And we're going to start with the toss-up round. All players are active and with the correct answer can contribute 10 points per question to their team score. There are no point deductions for wrong answers. So teams, if you're ready, good luck. And here we go. In 2021, the CDC issued a warning over an increase in people taking ivermectin as treatment for COVID-19. What is the drug's intended use? Fish antibiotic, plant pesticide, or livestock dewormer? <laughs> livestock dewormer. For being the best American athlete in her sport, who won six straight USA Swimming Golden Goggles Awards from 2013 to 2018? Was it Lily King, Missy Franklin, or Katie Ledecky? Katie Ledecky. What is the most abundant cell in blood, accounting for 40 to 45% of its volume? Red blood cells, white blood cells, or platelets? Red blood cells. In 2021, NBC announced it was canceling what award show run by the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, a group criticized for its lack of diversity and decades of corruption. The Oscars, the Golden Globes, or the Emmys? The Golden Globes. Take a look at your screens. Also known as the second Duke of Newcastle upon Tyne, in 1766, what British scientist seen here recognized hydrogen as an element which he called inflammable air. Is it John Dalton, Humphrey Davy, or Henry Cavendish? Henry Cavendish. America's population grew by only 7.4% from 2010 to 2020. This is the second smallest growth in U.S. history after which period? 1790 to 1800, 1860 to 1870, 
or 1930 to 1940. 1930 to 1940. What language did the Norman conquest to introduce to England, German, Danish, or French? French in To Kill a Mockingbird. What is the verdict in the Tom Robinson case? Guilty, not guilty, or a hung jury? Guilty. What emperor under the Han Dynasty opened a trade route later called the Silk Road that would link China and the West for centuries? Wudi, Kublai Khan, or Suzong? Wudi. Take a look at your screens. Here comes the next question. Hello, I'm Senator Ed Markey, and here's my question. I grew up in Malden, Massachusetts, and it's still my home when the Senate is not in session. Best known for his Perry Mason detective stories, what fellow Malden native was the best-selling American author of the 20th century at the time of his death in 1970? Was it Raymond Chandler? Earl Stanley Gardner or Mickey Spillane? Earl Stanley Gardner is the answer, and we move on. The world middleweight champ from 1980 to 1987, what boxing legend from Brockton, Massachusetts, passed away in March of 2021 at the age of 66? Was it Sugar Ray Robinson, Rocky Marciano, or Marvelous Marvin Hagler? Marvelous Marvin Hagler. Which of the following plants is uh, dioecious, meaning there are separate male and female plants? Holly, pine, or rose? Holly, in 1976, who spent a month driving daily 12 hour shifts as a New York cabbie to prepare for his role in the film Taxi Driver. Was it Dustin Hoffman, Robert De Niro, or Al Pacino? Robert De Niro. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Martin Luther King Jr. wrote this in 1963 in an open letter to his fellow clergymen while he was jailed in what Alabama city? Was it Selma, Birmingham, or Montgomery? Birmingham. In geometry, what type of angle measures between zero and 90 degrees? Reflex angle? Obtuse angle or acute angle? Acute angle. Thanks largely to its business-friendly tax system, almost two-thirds of all Fortune 500 companies are incorporated in which U.S. state? Connecticut, New Jersey, or Delaware? Delaware. The World War II Battle of Stalingrad went on for 200 days and reduced the city to rubble. To remove its association with Soviet dictator Joseph Stalin in 1961, the city was renamed what? Moscow, Volgograd, or St. Petersburg? Volgograd is the answer. What Cole Porter musical is loosely based on Shakespeare's The Taming of the Shrew? Anything Goes, Red Hot and Blue, or Kiss Me Kate? Kiss Me Kate. What Civil War hero who gave the order to fire the first shot in defense of Fort Sumter was falsely credited as the inventor of baseball in 1907? Was it Abner Doubleday, James Longstreet, or William T. Sherman? Abner Doubleday. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge is the world's longest mountain chain and is mostly underwater. It surfaces in the North Atlantic and runs through what island nation? Greenland? Iceland or Ireland? Iceland is the answer there. And that's the end of the toss-up round. The score, Andover, 540 points. British International, 420 points. Let's hear it for both teams. Semi-finals here. Okay, the head-to-head -head round is next, but first, we always like to take a few minutes to get to know our teams, our players, a little bit better, and we do it with a question. I have one here. You'll all have a chance to answer. We'll start with Andover High School and Narain. What do you plan to do after high school, Narain? Well, after high school, I'd like to open a dairy farm. Oh, really? Very cool. How about you, Liam? Um... All I'm sure of is that I'm going to college. Not really sure where or what I'll study, because I still got a few years to decide. 
So no selections yet. All right. And Mahathi, how about you? I'm planning to go to college and study biology, maybe go to med school. It's a long process, but it sounds exciting. Well, good luck with that. How about you, Karan? Um, I have a movie idea I'd like to pitch. Uh, it's called Osmium Man. It's a superhero movie, and um, I can't give too much away, but like Osmium's the densest element, and you know, I got some ideas for it. You know what, Karan? Give me a call. I'll make some calls for you. I'm just saying. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's go to British International. Tara, how about you? Plans after high school? I want to be a cardiothoracic surgeon. All right. How about you, Harry? Um, hopefully go back to the UK. All right. Sabrina, how about you? Uh, in the very short term, celebratory trip with friends and then probably college. All right. Annabelle? Uh, yeah, I would like to go to college. <laughs> No selections yet, Annabelle? Uh, not really. Well, you know what? For now, let's go head to head then. It's time for the head to head round, and let's do it right now. Okay, in this round, correct answers add 10 points to the team total. Incorrect answers now result in a 10 point deduction. Now, if an answer is not given, there is no impact on the team score. And teams, if you're ready, good luck, and here we go. In 2021, Olivia Coleman won an Emmy for her portrayal of what character in the drama series The Crown? Was it Princess Diana or Queen Elizabeth? Queen Elizabeth. What term refers to a chemical that can burn the skin? Amorphous or caustic? Caustic. Uh, the Wilmot Proviso was an 1840s proposal to ban slavery in any U.S. territory acquired through the Mexican-American War or the Louisiana Purchase. The Mexican-American War. What dystopian novel features a daily public ritual called the two minutes of hate, Fahrenheit 451 or 1984? 1984. With 28% of its population ages 65 or older, what country is considered the oldest country in the world, Japan or Norway? Japan. What queen had the shortest reign of any British monarch ruling for just nine days in 1553? Jane Grey or Mary Tudor? Jane Grey. Which group comprises the placental mammals? Is it monotremes or eutherians? Eutherians. Located in the middle of a rainforest, it rains about 170 days a year in what capital city of Costa Rica? Santiago or San Jose? San Jose is the answer there. And that ends the round. Let's take a look at the score. Andover right now, 550 points. British International, 480 points. Let's hear it for both teams. Next up is the category round with the following categories. Oh, my God. The Umbrella Academy. Trust no one. Razzle Dazzle. These United States and there and back again. Teams will be able to choose two five question categories and do have the option to toss one question per category to the other team. And teams, yes, are able to confer. And over who will be the spokesperson for your team? Liam. I will. British International, who's the spokesperson? I am. Tara. British International, you have a little ground to make up, but it's not a big deal. This is a great match. Uh, but you get to choose the first category. Who is it going to be? Um, I like there and back again. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll go with there and back again. There and back again. All answers are palindromes, meaning they spell the same thing forward and backward. And for 10 points. In 2021, what Swedish pop group reunited after 40 years to release Voyage, their first original album since 1981's The Visitors? ABBA. ABBA. Uh, ABBA. Final answer, ABBA. And that's correct for 15 points. What object detection system that uses radio waves was secretly developed by several nations in the period before and during World War II? Radar. 
Radar, final answer. And radar is the correct answer for 20 points. What was the first name of Prince von Bismarck, the founder and first chancellor of the German Empire? Otto. Otto. Final answer, Otto. Otto is the correct answer for 25 points. What public holiday marking the Lunar New Year is an important festival in Vietnam? Oh, Tet. Final answer, Tet. Tet is correct for 30 points. What orphan who longs to marry the beautiful Estella and join the upper classes is the protagonist and narrator of Great Expectations? Pip. Pip. Final answer, Pip. Pip is the correct answer. And now we go to Andover High School. You'll need a category. Uh, what do you guys want to do? These United States. Yeah, I'm good with that. All right, these United States. These United States questions about the 50 states and for 10 points. America's only active diamond mine is found in what state that is the birthplace of Bill Clinton? Arkansas. 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 Arkansas, final answer. And that is correct for 15 points. What U.S. state is named after the French monarch known as the Sun King? Uh, Louisiana, right? All right, Louisiana, final answer. Correct. For 20 points, what state is home to several major national parks, including Zion, Arches, and Bryce Canyon? Uh, that one's Utah, um, right? Utah. Utah. Yeah, Utah, final answer. And Utah is the correct answer. For 25 points, name the only state that borders both the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico. That would be Florida. Florida. All right, Florida, final answer. Florida is correct for 30 points. After Rhode Island and Delaware, what is the third smallest state by area? Connecticut. New Jersey. I was thinking um, Connecticut. Yeah, Connecticut. All right, I'll say Connecticut. Connecticut, final answer. Connecticut is a correct answer. And now we go back to British International. Category, please. Um, do you guys want to go with trust no one? I sure. <laughs> okay, we'll go with trust no one. Trust no one. Questions about espionage. And for 10 points, in 1953, what two American civilians convicted of conspiring to pass U.S. atomic secrets to the Soviets were executed at Sing Sing Prison in New York? Wasn't it um, Ethel and what's his other one? Julius. Uh, Sabrina, sorry. Annabelle, do you know the last name? Wasn't it like... Rose. If you say it, I'll know it, but I can't remember what it is. Julius Rosenberg and Ethel Rosenberg. Final yes, I think answer. that's right. Yeah, final answer, Julius Rosenberg and Ethel Rosenberg. And that is a correct answer. Now for 15 points. Captured by the British and hanged as a spy in 1776, what American patriot is remembered for his purported last words, I only regret that I have but one life to give to my country. Oh, wasn't that Nathan Hale? That sounds about right. I think it was Nathan. Okay, final answer, Nathan Hale. Nathan Hale is correct. Now for 20 points. In the wake of the Soviet downing of an American U-2 spy plane on May 1st, 1960, what Russian leader lashed out against the United States and President Eisenhower at a Paris summit meeting? Uh, Khrushchev. Khrushchev. Okay, final answer, Khrushchev. Nikita Khrushchev is correct. Now for 25 points, what U.S. state is home to Area 51, a top-secret Air Force facility that developed sophisticated spy planes that were sometimes mistaken for UFOs? Nevada. Uh, yeah, Nevada. Final, Nevada, final answer. And Nevada is the correct answer. Now for 30 points, a British intelligence officer until 1951, what member of a spy ring known as the Cambridge Five was the most successful Soviet double agent of the Cold War period? Wasn't it? I think there's a movie about this. Like, Don. There's definitely a YouTube video on it. Um... We I need an answer, was... Tara. Donald McLean or something like that? Final answer, Donald McLean? No, Kim Philby is the answer. And now we go back to Andover High School. You'll need a category. What's it going to be? Uh, I think razzle-dazzle's about, like, rhyming words. So we could, we could do that one. Yeah, oh, sure, yeah. razzle-dazzle. All right, we'll do razzle-dazzle. 
Razzle Dazzle questions about musicals, and for 10 points, Edelweiss is the last song that Rodgers and Hammerstein ever wrote together. It's from what 1959 Broadway musical? Um, this is The Sound of Music. Uh, sound of Music, final answer. And Sound of Music is correct for 15 points. Based on Baz Luhrmann's 2001 film of the same name, what lavish stage production about a nightclub in turn-of-the-century Paris won 10 Tony Awards in 2021, including Best Musical? I think this um, is Moulin Rouge. Yeah, Moulin Rouge, that's the one. Uh, Moulin Rouge, final answer. Moulin Rouge is correct now for 20 points. Written and composed by two students while studying for finals at Cambridge University. What musical about the wives of Henry VIII includes the song, Don't Lose Your Head? Um, might be six. Uh, is it six, final answer? Six is correct now for 25 points. Based on Amy Heckerling's 1995 film of the same name, what musical is a modern retelling of Jane Austen's Emma? Uh, we'll no answer. We don't know. I need an answer, Liam. We'll pass. You're going to pass. The answer is clueless. And for 30 points, who wrote and composed the semi autobiographical musical Tick, Tick, Boom, adapted for film in 2021? Jonathan Larson. Yeah. yeah, Larson. It is Larson. Uh, Larson, final answer. Jonathan Larson is the correct answer. And that is the bell ending the category round. End over high school right now, 725 points. British International, 620 points. A great match. Let's hear it for both teams, everybody. Okay, we are headed into the final round of play. We call it the lightning round. All players are active and with each response can add or subtract 20 points to their team's total. A decision not to answer does not impact the score. We have 10 questions in all teams. Good luck. Jared Harris stars in the new science fiction series Foundation based on the book series of the same name by what author? Isaac Asimov or author C. Clarke? Isaac Asimov. What acid is released by the body during intense exercise? Ascorbic acid or lactic acid? Lactic acid. What NHL team won the 2021 Stanley Cup final? Montreal Canadiens or Tampa Bay Lightning? Tampa Bay Lightning. What children's novel by Natalie Babbitt is about a spring whose waters grant to immortality? The Curious Case of Benjamin Button or Tuck Everlasting? Tuck Everlasting. What river flows through the city of Florence, Italy, the Arno or the Tiber? The Arno. In 1914, Archduke Francis Ferdinand was assassinated by what Serbian nationalist? Leon Chogas or Gavrilo Princip? Gavrilo Princip. Described as Game of Thrones meets X-Men, The Young Elites is a popular fantasy series by what author? Marie Lu or Ransom Riggs? Marie Lu. A molecule of methane has how many atoms of hydrogen? Four or two? Four. Uh, the Greek hero Theseus is the legendary founder of what city? Sparta or Athens? Athens. In 1898, Hawaii was annexed as a U.S. territory under what American president? Grover Cleveland or William McKinley? The answer is William McKinley. And that's the end of the game. The winning team this week, Andover High School, total score of 1,145 points. British International finishes with 860 points. Congratulations. Let's hear it for both teams. So now Andover will move on to the championship match where they'll take on the winner of next week's semifinal match between Mansfield and North Quincy. 
Until then, don't forget you can play a bonus round of High School Quiz Show on your Alexa or Google Home devices. Just ask your smart speaker to play High School Quiz Show. Great job, teams. Thank you, and thank everybody. We'll see you all next week. You can watch High School Quiz Show anytime on our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram for a look behind the scenes and quizzes that'll keep you thinking. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more photos and video. And add some competition to your conversations by sending your friends High School Quiz Show gifts. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Whether you prefer email, texting, or a live person, Safety Insurance is available to help you file a claim and pay your bill. Safety Insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Learn more at safetyinsurance.com. Additional funding is provided by Eastern Bank. I feel when our communities need a voice, Eastern Bank steps up, stands strong, and does not stay silent. When times get tough, good speaks up. Join us for good. This is what it sounds like. Additional funding is provided by the Museum of Science. The Museum of Science. Trekking around the Arctic has never been easier. You can get lost in the mystery and find beauty in Arctic adventure, exploring with technology. On exhibit now, only at the Museum of Science. More at MOS.org.